Oh my god, my hands all shaky. <gasps> Stupidest. Hey guys, welcome back to Louie's Life. <laughs> so for this week's video, I am back with another cooking video. I am actually so excited for this cooking video because I actually feel like I'm going to be cooking today. I'm going to bring out the Latina skills and be cooking some chilaquiles. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted me to cook and I was reading through all of them and I got a lot of stupidas asking me to cook chilaquiles. And I was like, why don't I ever think of that? But stupid. But I was like, oh my god, that's because we are in quarantine right now, I was like, I want to make something that all you stupid ass can make at home super easy because you guys know I'm not a chef. I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to make shit. And something using ingredients that all you stupid ass should already have in your little casita. So chilaquiles are super quick and easy to make. And me acting like I've made these before. <laughs> I've actually never made these before, but from what I have seen and from the times that people have made me chilaquiles, it seems... Seems, S-E-E-M-S, -E -E seems easy to make. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to do that. So no, I've never tried making chilaquiles ever. I've had some really bomb chilaquiles though. But like I said, looks easy. I have everything aqui. And I'm gonna try to make them for you stupid ass. Así que get your little notepad, your little pen, and start writing all the instructions and steps. Watch this with your mommy, your abuelita, your papi, your dog, your fish, anybody, and try to make them yourself. Let me just shut the fuck up and let's get started with this video. <gasps> so of course I got my little mandil right here that says the baddest perra. Just a little snatched. Oh. <gasps> Did I rip it? Oh my god, I ripped it. Oh me skinny. Or maybe I ripped it because it doesn't fit me no more. <laughs> Period. And no stupidas, if your hombre is watching then no, I am not the meal. <laughs> no, don't mistake me. We haven't even started cooking yet. <laughs> it's always so hard when I'm cooking because people, like, they see me and they think I'm the meal when I haven't even started cooking. <laughs> but no, I'm not the meal. I'm not the snack. I'm not the five course. <laughs> All right, stupidas. So this is pretty much everything that you need, at least I think. This is all you need to make chilaquiles. And I have my little ollas right here. <clears throat> so first, we have this, which is... Caldo con sabor de pollo. I forgot what this is called, pero let's explain this. We also have our tortillas, our tortillas. I have 10 of them, as you can see. And then we have the main ingredients. So you need three tomatoes. Three, one, two, three. You need one of these. Oh, is this my hombre? <laughs> you need one chile guajillo. And you need some of these. These are chile de arbol. Right? These are chile de arbol. <gasps> Dude, these are bringing flashbacks. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, I'm also gonna tell you. <laughs> this is bringing me flashbacks to when I did my iconic Chile de Arbol nails. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you hella missed out. But I did a set with Chile de Arbol nails and I was obsessed with them. I know, I know, I know. Yes, say that you stupid ass are hella jealous because you guys don't have this little set right now. You stupid ass could never. And you know what? Ya que estamos hablando de uñas, I am sick and tired of hearing the same pregunta over and over and over again. Louis, how do you wipe your ass? Like, oh my god, those are hella long. Like, how do you even do anything? You know what, stupida? I don't wipe my ass. And you wanna know why? Because your hombre wipes it for me. <laughs> And you know what? These chiles aren't gonna be the only chiles I'm be holding in my hand. <laughs> I really need to bring them back, but yes, you need chile de árbol, you need one cebolla. Ooh, I hate cebolla, but you need it. And you need dos semillas de ajo. <laughs> dientes de ajo, I mean. Not semilla. These are dientes de ajo. A little fifi foam moment. If I plant this, will I make like one of those big beanstalk type of thingers, machiners that I can climb on and go see a fifi ho? You're also gonna need some crema, and then you need some queso fresco. You're gonna need a licuadora, or whatever this is called. You know what this is. You know what it is. You're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need a spatula. 
in case anyone tries to touch your food. And of course, your licuadora. And then I have some sartenes right here. I just needed this one for the tortillas. This is where I'm actually gonna make them. And then one of these to boil everything in. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we are gonna start with las... Oh, mm. Mm. We are gonna start with the tortillas. Y las vamos a cortar. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut them. I should have a total of 10 tortillas. Like this. So we are going to cut right down the middle. Stupid. This. Mm. Oh, we're not cutting it even. And then I'm going to cut them into little like triangles because that's usually the shape of the chilaquiles. This is pretty much for your little chips. Oh my god, this is hard. Okay. Oh, I really need to go to the gym, dude. Hey, yeah. Okay, so once you got your Doritos Nachos Preparados, they should be looking like this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ya me creo. I was able to cut the tortillas. Little money moment. And of course, oh my god, if you haven't washed your hands, wash your hands. So now that we have our little tortillitas cut, we are going to set them aside. And now this little, um, I forgot what this is called. This big chile. We are going to be cutting off, or taking out the little semillitas inside. If you can still hear the stupidas in there, make sure they're all out. They don't need winners, my Oh, me no way to get out. Me hiding. Me play hide and seek. Okay. So, so I filled this up enough to just cover la comida. You don't have to fill it up all the way over here to the point where you're swimming out of it. But just fill it up enough to cover the little comida that we're going to be putting in there. Oh my god, look at me giving y'all tips. <laughs> so now you're going to want to turn your thing on. Oh my god, I forgot this one that doesn't work. Wait. Hold it. I've seen my mom do this a million times. So I think you can turn one on with this. Oh my god, my hands all shaky. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me so bad. I literally almost burned myself. That scared me so bad. I thought I was gonna go. <laughs> but anyways, I got it to turn on. That's the good thing. Um, now you're just gonna wanna let your water boil. Make sure it's boiling. And then on this sartén, I think this one does work. Period. Okay, on this one, you're gonna wanna put some aceite so that your little chips or tortillas can fry. Fry. Yeah. Anyway, Brittany, what is all just that you tend to put me? Tell them I'm a son. Tell them I'm a son. No copyright. Don't try me. I don't remember if you put the aceite when it's on or off. I'm gonna turn it off. So you're gonna wanna put a good, generous amount of aceite because you're gonna use this aceite to fry those, like I said. Honestly guys, don't even rely on me about measurements because I don't even know what I'm doing. So now but Oh, and make sure you take this off. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> but now that my aguita is boiling, you're gonna wanna put your tomato. <gasps> I don't remember if I'm supposed to put this all in there or like cut it. I'm just gonna throw it in there. A ver qué pasa. Hopefully it's not too much because I hate cebolla. And then you're going to want to grab your little diente, whatever these are, her seeds. <gasps> you're going to want to grab your chile de arbol. Just chile de arbol like this. <gasps> what the hell was that? You're going to want to mix it all together. Okay, and to let that boil, you're going to put the tapa on. Let her, and we're gonna put her on low. Oh my god, guys, I'm a chef! I'm a chef! <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna put these in the comal to make them duritos, to... to dorarlos, or whatever you call it. That, I'm really scared of, because aceite, mm -mm, that's something you don't fuck with. Because that will burn you and scar you for life. Alright, stupida, so I have my mommy recording for me, she's helping me, pero... She's not allowed to tell me how to do nada because 
This is cooking with Louie. A ver como me sale. So she's just recording me. She's not telling me how to do anything. <laughs> you know what? I have a better idea. My little spatula. Yeah, I do know. We're just gonna do a little bit, poquito, at a time because if you do too many, no todos se van a hacer fry. Eh, hey, ya ven. And then you're gonna want a little flip moment. <clears throat> so I don't want my little tortillas to be like too fried. So I'm only gonna fry them for a little bit. Wipe me up if my hombre is watching this. I'm waiting for it. So this is what they should be looking like, at least to my liking. Just a little golden brown, not too brown, porque a mí no me gustan quemaditos. I like them just like this. Y ya están listos para sacarse. Okay, now I'm gonna take these out. Ow! Okay. I should open my own restaurant. I don't care, I don't care. So this is what it should look like. Nice and golden. <gasps> They're hirviendo! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is like shaking. Oh, me wanting to escape. Tenemos que hacer rápidos. Rápidos. Aquí la gente. Alright, excuse me, guys. So these are all the little chips I have so far. Tal me faltan un poquito más. But I'm gonna try one to see how it's coming out so far. I'm a chef. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna keep frying more of my little tortillitas and I'll come back when I'm all done. But, like, really, my querida level went from here to all over here right now, guys. <gasps> Stupid. So, I have fried all of my little chips, and honestly, I'm like, I did that. I did that. Oh, me excited over frying some chips. Oh, oh, ah. Oh, oh, oh. That was so hot. Oh my god, that was so hot. Why did I forget? I literally just took these out of the comal and me trying to bite it. But okay, now that I got my little chips, we're gonna set those aside. And that shit's hot. Okay, we're not gonna grab that like that. Okay, now we're gonna grab this. And put her aqui. Me. You're gonna wanna put everything from here into la licuadora. Here comes the chili. Period. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to put some of this juice in there. So this you gotta be careful with porque si tiras te quemas. <gasps> too much, too much! You just wanna put enough for it to like Molirse because you can't do it dry or it's not gonna happen. Destroy your ass! Oh, me forgetting! Oh my god, I forgot to put the little pollo thing. I'm gonna put like, like that much. Do y'all see that? All right, stupida, so we're almost done. So ahora, this is where the licuadora or the whatever this is comes in and the little salsa sauce type of thing that we did. I don't know. This is for all the semillas so that the semillas don't fall in there. So I'm gonna be putting poquitito. Oh my God, this is me. Just a little bit. So just line up. Como si le estás dando en garazos, so that it all falls down. Alright, so todo eso, what you see there, that's your ex. Nah, I'm just kidding. So that's pretty much what you're gonna wanna throw away. Cause we're gonna throw that away. Where all the trash belongs. Alright, so now, I'm gonna try the sauce. This is hot! Be careful. <gasps> Be careful! <laughs> oh my god. Tú me dijiste que la probara, ya me quemé. Hasta te pusiste el bien aquí. Pues sí, quemó. Oh, oh my god. Es Avi que está caliente. Mira, te escurrió. Ah. 
She's spicy. Okay, voy a poner poquita más sal. Just like that. I'm really salero, I like salt. Ay, oh, ya me quemé, eso todavía me duele. Nunca cocino otra vez. <laughs> Ay, qué bueno. <laughs> okay, guys, so now I'm gonna put my little chips in there. Mm, so you're gonna wanna put everything in there, all your little chips. Some of them are more dorados than others, but that's okay. Me, honestly. Me left behind. <laughs> so ahora you're just gonna wanna make sure que todos estén dipped in la salsa. You wanna make sure they're all covered. I'm gonna tapar la olla and let them soak in for a little bit so they can get a little more aguaditos so they're not all tisicos and tiesos. Alright, stupida, so ya limpié la mesa and this is the part that I'm hella excited for to eat. Okay, so I finally get to try my little comidita, my little chilaquiles. You don't understand my excitement right now. Like, you don't understand. I'm only grabbing a little bit because I still want my parents to try it. Of course, I have to prepararlos. We can't just eat them like that. So I'm going to put just a little bit of crema. Just a little bit like that. Just like that. I love queso fresco, guys. Like, I, I don't know. Nothing will ever be queso fresco for me. <laughs> guys, oh my god, this looks so official. I did that. I don't care what you say. I did that. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oops. That's it. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm becoming a chef. I don't care. <laughs> Guys, I'm genuinely so freaking happy right now. Like, this is the first time, like, I feel like I cooked something. And I'm not even, like, I'm not eating my own pompis out right now. This is so good. Like, I'm blessing. <laughs> mm -mm. I was scared to let myself down, honestly. Because I've eaten chilaquiles by a lot of people. So I was like, shit, like, what if mine doesn't taste good? Like, I already know how it should taste. But this, mm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like literally anyone can make this, guys. Like, anyone can make this. Like, if I was able to make it, you can make it. It's a little picoso, but nothing like to the point where you're like, oh my god. Like, it's the perfect Latina spice. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. This is so good. The real test doesn't come until my parents try it. Before I finish it all, I'm gonna make a little play for my dad to try. I'll be right back. All right, stupida. So I just made my little platito for my dad. Pa que lo pruebe de no we. Hola, cómo estás? This is the little quarantine Aquí moment. Es. Pues te vas a poner más con Esta mi comida cuando la pruebas. Con este cocinero, a ver, vamos a ver. Se agarra poquito de todo. Pues que te lo pones en la panza. Como mesa. Ya sirve de recargadera. A ver cómo tú sabes. Mmm. Es que apenas estoy agarrando el sabor. Ah, pues ya te lo acabas. Mmm. Bien rico. Mmm. Mm. Copienlos. No están muy, no está muy picosos. No. Ah, bueno. No les falta sal. Mm. Ni más chicken Ni pollo. picosos, ni no picosos, ricos. Sabrosos, nutritivos. Y bien, si no me nutrieron. Si no, ¿qué? Me dejan bien nutridito. Mmm, pues ya se notó. <risa> Muy ricos. Se los aconsejo. This is for you. Bye. This is oh, for you. Thank you. Cuídense. Saludos. Bye. That's my dad. Don't we? He approved them. Last bite. Don't have her. Más cremita. Mmm. Mmm. Qué gusto. <risa> I know I've said this a million times, but I really am happy with the way they came out. <laughs> I 10 out of 10 recommend you guys to make this server for your mommy or papi so they can see that you are a chef. 
They're gonna be like, damn, you never know, this thing so, and just be like, from the bad espera. <laughs> Send this video to your mommy, your grandma, your grandpa, your papi, anyone who cooks, so they can also try to make it for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it the biggest thumbs up, porque ya está me queme, pretty stupid ass. Let me know down in the comment section below what else you guys want me to cook. And that's gonna be it for this week's video. I'll see you guys next time I upload. Peace. Bye, guys. <sighs> Going for pig number two. <laughs>